Okay, let's go. Craft more warp cells for hyperdrive. Acquire antimatter formula, craft antimatter, and craft warp cells. So we have a new objective. I was wondering how we would get more warp cells. Well, 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 dear viewers, a whole new system. We're far from robot stuff right to now. And there's no way back because our hyperdrive is out of energy. But we'll find a way back. Starship scanner. Press C to activate a star system scan. Alert. Navigation operator received. Manufacturing facility detected. Well, if we needed more items to manufacture, we should go to a manufacturing plant. I guess I should say if we needed more items to manufacture, that would be a good place to go. So let's get going. Let's enter the atmosphere here. Woo! Carefully, let's not ram into anything. There we go. Now, that happens to me sometimes. Slow it down. Gotta learn to slow down getting here. Gotta learn to slow down on my approach to planets. Well then. an abandoned facility? Charred planet. Direct sunlight. Sentinels are passive. Flora is abundant. Fauna is typical. Planet Taskab Zisrod. What a place to land. Somerite. And that produces iron. Kumoniborite. Probably iron? Yeah.
Very interesting looking place. So we have here an abandoned facility, huh? Chesapeake Crater. Where is your save point? Some of these things have already been looted. I like that the game credits me for discovering places like this, even though there's like already spaceships and stuff here. There's like clearly other people around. <laughs> but no, I discovered this. Oh, this place is burning hot, is it? Okay. Oh yeah, well it says direct sunlight. I guess we're really close to the sun. Steel reinforced. We have to destroy this? Switching to the bolt caster. It says the sentinels are passive. Let's see how passive. I've been directed here. Getting some hitching. Sentinel down, some more hitching. What is up with this place? Is this place under alert because I attacked it, or has it just been like this? Somewhere below my feet I hear the endless churn of automated machinery performing unknown tasks for unknown masters. A screen flickers to life and letters stamp themselves across it. Nada nada, escape, Atlas, find us, nada nada. Whoa. And then a formula is displayed. How to make my own antimatter. Wait a second! What's happening here? Is there a villain in all this? Do I have a purpose other than explore? Is there really a plot here? What? Escape. Atlas. Find us. Nada nada. Escape. Atlas. Find us. Nada nada. I have some sort of a calling here. Take antimatter formula. Yes. With this knowledge, I can create warp cells. The final puzzle piece. I can now travel anywhere I please. Or should I follow Atlas? Or find Nada and Polo? Antimatter. Technology component contained negative uh, matter and barogenesis particles. A force harnessed in many Starship and Exosuit systems, not least hyperdrive technology. Electron vapor, iridium, and zinc. Well, I can now go anywhere I please. Now I gotta craft antimatter and then craft additional warp cells. That's the next step. What in the world is happening here? Are you kidding me? I have. There's a plot? Milestone accomplished. Novice destroyed one sentinel. I didn't think I had a reason to destroy those sentinels, but... Are there good guys and bad guys here? What's happening? Now I'm pressed all the more. I am pressed all the more to learn about Korvac's words, learn their language, understand them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've got... this. This place is burning hot, right? Okay, so I've got to, uh... i got to craft antimatter. That comes next. Electron vapor. Right, i got to craft these. I need suspension fluid. Okay, so I've got to craft suspension fluid. And I, I don't know how to craft suspension fluid yet. Craft products in inventory slots. Well, I can't craft suspension fluid right now. Again, I need the formula or the blueprint or whatever that is.
I'm gonna save at the ship here. Let's just get on inside. There we go. Okay, base ingredient suspension fluid can be bought from galactic trade terminals. Yeah, I've gotta go to the galactic trade terminal and buy some suspension fluid. Up we go. But there's something else over here. A lot of things out here, actually. I think I need Heridium, and I think I see Heridium right there. Gotta be careful, though, because this place is not the most temperate location. And something else right there. What is that? Aluminum. Well, I don't really need aluminum right now, do I? No, and it'll just take up too many suit slots. Um, but what else is out here? A creature. Calm temperament. Defensive temperament. Grazing creature. Something else right there. There we go. Oh, I've already discovered this. Oh yeah, anything with a green dot, I've already discovered. There's iridium right there. Let's go get the iridium. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that always the case? Okay. Go to the exosuit. I should sell these gek charms. I should find a galactic trade terminal. And how many warp cells do I want to do I want to make? Let's let's consider that for a second. Let's go to the starship, of which, uh, in which there is no available inventory there either. Um. You know what? I am going to toss some of this stuff. Toss the platinum. Flip. And I'll toss... Um... Not thamium. I'll toss those, the not full stack of plutonium, because this stuff is all over the place. Alright, so now... Craft products. Okay, to craft a warp cell, I need to make antimatter, of course. And then I need one antimatter per warp cell. Let's say I want to make four warp cells, so I need four antimatter. Which means I need four electron vapors. Those are the two things I'm most concerned with. Everything else comes easily. So for those, I need four suspension fluids. So I guess I have to go to the Galactic Trade Terminal anyway to buy suspension fluids. I need to buy four suspension fluids. And I also need 400 plutonium for these. Do I have 400 plutonium? Yeah, the pl plutonium's everywhere. I've got 400 plutonium. That stack right there should have enough. So with just four suspension fluids, I can make four electron vapors. And I would also need... 200 iridium. I should write this down, really. Um, I wish I had, like, a note section here. Let me get my notepad. I, I, got, I, I really do feel like I have to write this down. I'm actually standing up for my computer right now. <laughs> this doesn't happen often when I'm recording. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I have my notepad. So, I need four suspension fluids, 400 plutonium, 200 heridium, 80 zinc, and 400 thamium. So, let me go gather all of that. And then we'll see what this whole bit is about. So let's see, four suspension fluids. I can get those on the... Uh, at the Galactic Trade Terminal. Plutonium, I need 400 plutonium. And I've got a stack of 500 right there, so we can just go ahead and check that off the list. Platinum... Sorry, plutonium. Good. Heridium? How much heridium do I have? That would be on my exosuit since I've been collecting it. Uh, I've got 250, so that does cover the 200 heridium that I need. Now I need 80 zinc, and I don't think I have any zinc 
uh, on me or on the spaceship. So I've got to go collect 80 zinc from somewhere. And I also need 400 thamium 9. And I've got 500 right there. Alright, so really the only thing that I need to collect is 80 zinc, and then I need to go buy the four suspension fluids. So let's go find some zinc. Oh, actually, I've been burning up while I've been standing out here. What is this? Ooh, new technology discovered. Deflection Enhancement Theta. Deflector Shield Companion Unit. Starship Energy Shield is strengthened. Oh, I like that. We'll concern ourselves with that a little bit later, probably. And this is what? Like a little stone. A knowledge stone. You have learned the Vikeen word for interloper. Wait a minute. Vikeen? There's another race besides Corvax and human? Discovered the lowlands here. The Inea Lowlands. That's iron. We don't need iron. We need zinc. Okay, I've got to get back to my ship so I can cool off. Kind of burning up here. This ship is kind of far, isn't it? Let's not burn up. Okay. Woo, turn the air conditioning on in this thing. Let's power our life support. We'll send this. We'll send what over? We'll send Heridium over to the starship. And carbon and plutonium. And titanium? Okay. Fine, then we'll take the power canister from the ship. And we'll use it to power our life support, right? Sounds good. That frees up another slot. Okay. Now we need zinc. But it's not like we can go back to Rovod Stavre 2, can we? <laughs> or Stavre 2. I'm putting an R in there. Where there shouldn't be one. Here's some zinc. Ooh, there's 30 right there. And I only need 80. Let's find some more zinc. That ought to cover it. Yep, I've got 82 of 250. So that covers all of the things that I need besides the four suspension fluid. So now, dear viewers, it's time simply to make it to a station. Whoop! Sorry, sorry, sorry! <laughs> Oh, there's an outpost. And, of course, controls are all jacked up. Yes, I will keep complaining about that. Thank you very much. Point Iphorn. Ah, so this planet does have a day-night cycle. And now that it's night and we're not under direct sunlight, we don't have to worry about overheating in this suit. Uh, you must be that new race. 